Hello and welcome to the Tehmina Rizvi podcast. We have here with us a very distinguished guest who is an IAS officer, has been a KAS officer and also a doctor. He has lot of achievements in his kitty. He has also done his masters from Harvard and uh, I welcome you Mr. Shah Faisal today in my podcast. Thank you one correction. I am not I was not a KAS officer but yeah I did appear in the exam. Okay. But uh, I could uh, I could not go beyond mains because by then I had uh, got into IAS. Still an achievement. Certainly, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, KAS it used to be my dream basically. So initially, uh, I think it was all about becoming an under secretary or nice. maybe becoming a DSP. Nice. That's all what I had thought about in my life. Yeah. So somewhere you were also correct. So you come from a very remote village of Kashmir. What would uh, what was it like to spend your childhood in a village? Uh, I think uh, it was like anybody else. I'm sure your own life. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I am also. But maybe Kupwara is a little bit far away yeah. from other places. Hmm. We are hmm. on the northern end. Hmm. So we used to say that uh, all good things come from south. <laughs> Anantanag, Baisri Nagar, like yeah. like Jhelum, it's. That Almost means our area is also not included. You are from Badgam. Badgam. Okay, Badgam is like more or less Srinagar. <laughs> so then, by the time it would reach Baramula or Kupwara, we would feel, oh God, it's like uh, we are way behind. Yeah. Educationally, also, I mean, hmm. that area was not very doing very well. So, luckily, my parents were teachers. So I think that was the only good thing which worked for me. So hmm. a lot of people tell me. What about your schooling? I actually studied from a government school oh. in Kupwara, mm. and I remember there were very brilliant guys in that school. I am sure, I am sure uh, really they have good. created yeah. good students. I was like, maybe I was a bit more lucky because my both parents were very sincere. They wanted me to do something well. Mm. Uh, there were other people who were really brilliant, but mm. somehow they got lost. So, uh, when you were in village, do you think um, Kupwara lacked some facilities in terms of? I think of yes. I think even today, I mean, there are places in Kashmir where students do not have access uh, to information, to, yeah. access to books, mm. access to guidance. Mm. I think the biggest thing which happened to people like me was that we didn't even know what was IAS like. Yeah. I had never met somebody who was mm. uh, an IAS officer mm. or an IPS officer. Yeah. So I'm sure there are a lot of uh, people in the rural area even today who never have seen somebody they get inspired from. They don't know. They don't how even know. The system works. So we had seen like being a doctor is like amazing. Hmm. So that's why I, I think it's also important what kind of people you get introduced to. So बहुत बार आपने सुना होगा that you become the, the books you read. The, the places you, you visit the people and the you. people you meet yeah ye bada zaruri hai you need to have a role model around I think, you i think most important thing yeah. isn't it it really inspires us to do big things hmm. so uh, when you decided for upsc were you already planning somehow or it happened by sheer chance i think it happened by a sheer accident i won't say chance so we were in the medical school hmm. um, and it was i think Third year or so, we were in. A, I remember it was the ENT class in which we were in. Hmm. So somebody just came, and I mean the way it happens in Kashmir is that doctors usually used to be beaten up, hmm. left, hmm. right, and center. Yeah. Hmm. Some attendant he was upset with us. He came and he just started thrashing everybody around. And he first uh, he first thrashed me. Hmm. And then it was so hard for me to explain to everybody that look, I am not somebody who will actually misbehave with an attendant. It was the Vice versa, hmm. we were actually the victims. Hmm. But I think that time I realized that you know there are a lot of, lot of problems in the system, and we also need to feel empowered to do things. Hmm. Uh, something changed that time, and I think I made this choice that okay, I will be quitting. Somebody medicine. who can thrash not, them back. Not exactly <laughs> the thrash them back, but it was about discipline that I realized that maybe our institutions. Need to be managed better. I'm not somebody mm. who will thrash somebody. You can, I can. I mean, yeah, that is evident. Yeah, that is definitely evident. evident. Yeah. So, uh, you wanted to become a doctor. I was very passionate about becoming a doctor. I think now, when I look back at my life, I feel I have always been a bit confused what I want to become. Isn't but everybody? Everybody is, but I'll tell you why I was confused. Basically, is that. Um, I think it's the sense of competition which our education puts us uh, puts into mm. us. 
so we just want to do excellent in whatever continuously be an over achiever you want to constantly be achieving and feeling good about it so also the level of respect people associate oh, with these things yeah so you have been getting good marks and everybody will be excited that okay definitely so you don't get even time to think about other things maybe i today when i look back at my life maybe i should have been doing a little bit better in sports maybe i should have been maybe learning music uh, today i go to dance parties at times i mean the formal ones which are like in our professional settings then you settings. don't know what to do i feel so <laughs> stuck at the stage and then i wonder yaar why didn't i at least learn couple yeah. of steps i asked my wife that uh, like isn't this how this is uh, this is what our kid should now be doing possibly mm. he needs to learn all these things mm. so i think it was all about going from one exam to another and just feeling good about it that's what took me and to medicine and not giving first. yourself time not exactly living your life i think even today so mm. many students come to me and they tell me that uh, we want to do ias the, the kid is in class 8 have i not shifted to delhi because of that yeah i'm sure <laughs> you must have like felt as well so yeah. class 8 kid telling me parents coming to me hey why don't you guide uh, sir we want you to for guide for upsc i say it's a bit too early why don't you do your class 10 class 12 then you have to do your bachelors uh but uh, i think somewhere this spirit of competitiveness i was myself convinced about it once upon a time hmm. trust me like hmm. if you listen to my statements and speech some maybe when i did it 10 years ago hmm. uh i used to think that okay the only way to live in this world is to be on the top yeah, yeah. right so but i, I think, think it comes with age uh, I think it comes with age and it comes with experience that you when you maybe when you also have some sort of cross cultural experience mm. that you yeah you meet people and you realize that okay maybe this was not the only way to be mm. and you meet people who are really excellent and who have done in other fields yeah, as well and who have been very successful in journalism and business entrepreneurship mm. so mm. I met a lot of people who have done really well and that made me realize that okay you know there are many ways to be happy basically in this life it's just not going from exam to exam and topping all the time are there still chances that you might like something else no i think <laughs> i am done by now i think i have played around a lot yeah i done a lot of stupid things also but yeah a lot done a lot of exciting things as well uh but i think by now by no i just turned 40 by the by the way last month so I think that brings in a certain sort of um, sortedness to your life. I don't know. I, I won't Maybe, say that I'm sorted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think somehow Maybe. something changes, and I'm happy. Like that. Okay, there is some more clarity in my life now. Do you mean that uh, in your forties or when you're reaching forties, you want to take it slow? I think in forties it becomes very hard to give shots to your life. Uh, so but yes for good things i think you should always be ready by the way i just you know last month i was in the academy so we have this a uh, mid career training which happens by the lal bahadur shastri lal bahadur yeah. shastri so i was there so uh, it was a very good opportunity to like reflect on life and to look back what all happened uh i used that time to learn swimming so i haven't I've which been, is also an achievement yeah, so i've been trying like very hard for last so many years to learn swim i i could not so finally got this opportunity we have this amazing swimming pool there so i spent a lot of time and learned swimming uh so constantly it's not that i don't want to grow i don't want to learn i think there is one thing which is that i want to learn constantly mm. uh, still to the to do things on my list is that maybe i wanted to learn guitar maybe i wanted to improve my arabic arabic skills i know a little bit of arabic um i wanted to improve it i used to speak speak persian once upon a time persian remembered a lot of persian poetry uh, forgot it want to maybe re- revive that a little bit huh i uh, maybe i want to learn a bit of dance as well uh want to write a book There's a lot of things to be lot done i mean like it's yeah. not that i have given up but yes i don't want to give any you shocks you should not give up i don't want to give any shocks to my life anymore maybe that way i'm sorted let's treat them as experiences good experiences not shocks ultimately it's, it's an experience i think every mistake does end up being a very good experience in your mm. life mm. the good things may not ultimately be remembered but i think you do remember your mistakes and mm-hmm. honestly speaking i mean it is not i'm not 
boasting about anything but i think some mistakes which i made in my life and some wrong choices which i made definitely they put me through a lot of trouble my family went through a lot of trouble but i think when i look back i think those mistakes have changed me completely and those mistakes have transformed me into something i'm still not saying that i am perfect but i'm saying like i do see life with much more clarity today Mm. I my world view has changed my mm. look at you know the way look I look at people the way I look at life the way I look at future mm. it has undergone a 180 degree shift trust me be a lot of people tell me my own family tells me that hey, you have changed too much I know so i think this was the age maybe 40 is the age when i think also changed. when you start changing you outgrow a lot of things in life you learn a lot i mean like mm. adversity the good thing about adversity is that it 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 transforms you within it's not a surface level transformation that okay you are now it's just mm. skin deep mm. i think your soul changes and you understand for example that who are your friends mm. what is power isn't yeah. it so you see a lot of attention at a certain age when i when i just qualified ias i remember Uh, it was 2010 2010 lot of attention i should mention this that i remember the day exactly okay because it was 2010 i was in my 10th class okay and i was sitting near my tv when my father was continuously poking me about the fact that look at this, this guy this is what you have to do yeah I so remember. he yeah. has uh, achieved this and see how he's welcomed i remember you were welcomed like a groom oh like lot of people the band yeah. baja yes, the yes, malas yes, yes. and everything There i was remember a lot of celebrity kind of uh, feeling that time so but you know what happened and i was watching uh, it all uh, it was it was exciting i still look back and you know i check those photographs at times and it's like surreal that how it all happened obviously i mean somebody who came from such a remote village it's it's a big thing not that i was some kind of too underprivileged it's not that it was not really an, a slum dog story because uh, <laughs> i mean my both parents were working they were government employees and mm-hmm. in from kashmiri standards having both parents uh, as government employees and that is teachers is a thing, it's yeah. like a matter of privilege yeah. uh, you were still better off than most of the people mm-hmm. but then still i mean it meant really a lot to me because i had never imagined the sudden change yeah. and shift and it was just not about getting into ias it was also getting a lot of attention across mm. the country mm. so i think over the next couple of years maybe 3 to 4 years by the time i became dc also because i think 2010 in kashmir was a year of major unrest yeah so you bloomed through that yeah. and everybody started giving your examples that see while other guys are busy with other things mm. this is what he has been doing it was a very difficult time i remember that i mean that year and maybe a couple of years after that as well uh it was very tough for me personally because when these examples would be given i at times used to feel a bit guilty and because um, there was there was also a lot of criticism coming along that he mm. people started pushing back that he who is this guy how did he come about yeah. and i remember a lot of people started even telling me that oh he is a fake topper i mean those everybody kind of everybody has yeah. uh, their so share those of those kind of uh, emotional setbacks which mm. were temporarily there which came about and but at the same time there was a lot of jubilation as well a lot of people were celebrating mm. i was literally like a star and um, that had its own pitfalls because you remember i mean when somebody gets too much of attention most of the people who are in their home quarters get this lot of attention so it kind of spoils you as well you become a little Definitely, bit spoiled yeah. so uh, i won't say i became arrogant but at the same time i started feeling that okay maybe this is too little bit which i got maybe i need to get more so you become greedy Mm. that had its own consequences in the next few years and mm. um, although i have been i tried my best to focus on my work but it does distract you from, from your work when you get attention mm. and when you have this star feeling that glamour then, isn't it <laughs> yeah. yeah so a lot of important things you start missing from your life mm. yeah so when did you shift to delhi uh my first i i think i first time came to delhi in my med school uh, we have this festival in aims called pulse so that was the most exciting time we came here from our medical college 
young kids mixing with the with the, with the New Delhi people, crowd here yeah. uh, looking at life i mean those must have been the first i think few dance nights and music nights which i uh, really mm. saw for the first time i met people from other faiths people from other cultures huh? doing great things having great mm. dreams we got to know about oh there is this thing called aims pg so you can do your md in aims mm. and it's such an exciting thing yeah uh, then i kept coming i think uh, now i've been here for the last couple of years and posted here so mm. exciting time in delhi so uh, what do you think uh, when kids or youngsters uh, you know talk to different people from different backgrounds cultural differences how do you grow as a person is do you think it's very important i think the most important antidote to prejudice mm. is trust and is cross cultural exposure is mm. interaction with those people who you don't have any idea about yeah So I think I have been very lucky in a sense that very early in life I got to travel and I got to meet people from other cultures. Mm. And that breaks a lot of walls. Mm. That makes you realize that you know there is this universal humanity, there is this universal value system. There are these universal virtues of good and bad and evil and mm. Mm. other things. Mm. And then you start relating to people that you know there is this world beyond faith, beyond culture, beyond religion, beyond human, beyond religion, region, isn't it? Yeah. Connect at human level with mm. people, and you understand their journeys. I think one good thing about your podcast is that you are exploring people's journeys, and that mm. humbles people, and mm. that brings people around. Mm. I appreciate. I mean, this is really Thank a great you. initiative in that. Thank sense. you so yeah. much. I mean, irrespective of cultural and religious backgrounds. it's about how you are as a human how difficult it is now to look at that human element in people we always yeah. get stuck in you know what is his name what is his religion what color is his skin isn't it oh, out of the shell the shell yeah when basically at the essence of it at the root of it everybody of everybody is similar yeah, everybody is our journeys are our believe i mean individual journeys are civilizational journeys are same we mm. all have gone through something similar same. in last yeah. thousands of years and then it becomes so sad at times to see that you know how we can possibly interact with people at that level which is very superficial mm. when we could have been maybe interacting with them at a much deeper level yeah i think travel and dialogue and interaction with people mm. i think that really changes everything and personally i believe that in for prejudice prejudice reduction research also tells us that talking to people is the best way mm, nice also uh, when we talk about kashmir and delhi not precisely to compare but i'm just asking that uh, how how different did you found these two places and uh, what is kashmir still lagging which it could have done better i have my friends uh, with whom i have a lot of jokes about <laughs> how we as kashmiris think about life and how do we treat others and mm. uh i will say every society has its ills mm. so we still feel like we are very insecure at times somebody does something and we still feel like it's like a small family yeah so people mm. get stuck oh this girl this guy is doing this accountability so, yeah, accountability so people <laughs> become very possessive about others it kyun kiya isne aise aap somebody is like doing good to hmm. so people who are even anonymous they will feel good about it agar unko laga nahi ji isne jo cheez kari this is not something good to puri duniya uske piche troll karne ke liye lag jayegi i am sure like you have that experience as well <laughs> yeah to bada intimate sa exchange hai har kisi ke sath i feel like i am everybody's daughter hai na because ha everybody gets too involved in everybody my life everybody gets involved and families villages man I'm like everybody is talking about somebody mm-hmm. people have so much interest in dusro ki personal life ke bare mein itna sochte hain hum log aaj bhi mm-hmm. kisi ke faith ke bare mein kabhi kabhi itni kisi ne mamooli koi baat kari to like we will still feel like as if personal insult ho gaya hamara kuch mm-hmm. personal and yeah. it's always a fight of who's a better muslim ha uh-huh. वो भी एक एक ऑल्डो मतलब कश्मीर के बारे में एक अच्छी बात ये है दैट वी हैव दिस लेगेसी ऑफ सूफी इस्लाम या सो इट इज अ वेरी टॉलरेंट लेगेसी एंड हमारा कल्चर रहा दैट हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई एवरीबॉडी हैज बीन लिविंग टुगेदर एंड 
जो नेचर ऑफ इस्लाम कश्मीरी इस्लाम है इट हैज बीन वेरी सिंक्रेटिक हमने कभी डिफरेंस नहीं माना जो हमारा जो सूफी पॉइंट्स हैं उनकी शायरी जब हम देखते हैं तो लाइक कश्मीरी ऑर्डिनरी जो कश्मीरी आज भी है वो स्टिल लिसन्स टू दैट म्यूजिक एंड अप्रिशिएट्स इट रिलेट्स टू इट एंड इन लिव्स हिज लाइफ एज पर दोस वैल्यूज बट स्टिल देयर इज अ जनरेशन देयर आर पीपल जिनको आज भी लगता है यार मतलब हु हैव टेकन अ सर्टेन स्ट्रिक्ट पोजीशन अबाउट इश्यूज तो अब मुझे वो आई आई फाइंड इट वेरी फन एट टाइम्स मैं कभी देखता हूं आई रिमेंबर हम कभी विश करते हैं किसी को हैप्पी क्रिसमस किया या हैप्पी दिवाली करी कुछ लोग आपको ट्रोल करेंगे सोशल मीडिया पे आई यू नो एंजॉय दोस उनका जो कभी कोई गाली यू नो आई हैव मेड दिस रूल दैट इफ आई डोंट गेट अ ट्रोल इन अ डे आई फील समथिंग इज रॉन्ग दैट्स अ फन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट बिकॉज़ मेजॉरिटी आप देखोगे जो लोग हैं दे आर वेरी पॉजिटिव Hmm. और yeah. लोग अप्रिशिएट करते हैं कि आप इंटर कल्चरल इंटरक्शन को बड़ा अप्रिशिएट करते हैं और अगर दो चार लोग हैं जो बुरा भी कहते हैं hmm. उनके साथ डायलॉग करने का ये एडवांटेज होता है मे बी यू विल अल्टीमेटली बी एक्चुअली चेंजिंग देर ओपिनियंस वेरी मच पॉसिबल तो मैं इन इंटरेक्शन को उसी एंगल से देखता हूँ तो मैं कभी कभी सोशल मीडिया पर क्या करता हूँ कि मैं अपने कॉमेंट्स बंद कर देता हूँ बिकॉज कुछ लोग गेट वेरी नास्टी देन आई आस्क माई ओन सेल्फ कि यार ये मैंने क्यों किया तो रिप्लाई ऑन करना स्टार्ट करो ठीक है तो अभी बट यू नो वेन यू ओपन दैट बॉक्स रिप्लाई वाला दे इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट बींग नास्टी इट्स अबाउट द द इम्प्रेशन इट हैज ऑन योर ब्रेन बिकॉज दे राइट एनी थिंग इन एवरी थिंग हुआ क्या है कि दिस लॉट ऑफ टॉक्सिसिटी ऑन सोशल मीडिया उसमें कोई डाउट नहीं and lot of people hide behind the anonymity wo kya karte hain ki apne naam ka to account bhi nahi fake accounts ka issue aata hai and there is also this issue about accounts from across the border wo bhi bahut sare hain unki koi identity bhi nahi hai and they can write anything and they can accuse you of anything and they can also threaten you with anything to kabhi kabhi wo majboori ho jati hai by and large maine dekha hai ki jo hamari conversations hain within kashmir i think more or less tolerant hai एंड mm-hmm. यहाँ ये है कि एक सेंस ऑफ इंटीमेसी है सेंस ऑफ फैमिली है कि लोगों को अपसेट जल्दी हो जाता है इट्स गुड समटाइम्स बट समटाइम्स इट्स आल्सो बिकम्स इट बिकम्स अ हेडेक आल्सो एट टाइम्स के अगर आपके व्यूज डिफर नहीं करें या कोई कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल सब्जेक्ट आता है पर्टिकुलरली वेन इट कम्स टू इशूज लाइक रिलीजन एंड अदर्स तब तो आई बिकम वेरी तो मतलब उस पर बड़ा सेंसिटिविटीज आ जाती हैं Yeah. Otherwise, it's good. Like honestly, I do get a lot of flack at times. Social media पे बहुत गालियाँ भी पड़ती हैं. But I have by and large now learned to interact. Used हाँ, to. हाँ, got used, used to it. To. हाँ. और उनको भी पता है जो abuse कर रहा है वहाँ से कि यार it's just part of life. So, uh, what suggestions would you give to parents who are looking at UPSC as something? It's the only destination हाँ. in life. देखिए एक चीज़ तो ज़रूर है. I'm sure like everybody knows this already that. hundreds and thousands of people appear in the exam and it's mm-hmm. just maybe a few hundred people who okay. get yeah. into IAS and IPS yeah so aisa bhi nahi hai ki itni sari certainty hai and everybody will get mm-hmm. there everybody will not mm-hmm. but definitely yes some people need to go there mm-hmm. it's a, it is an opportunity yeah aur jinko man hai wahan jaane ka i think they should go they mm-hmm. should work very mm-hmm. hard but aisa nahi hai that you will should spend your forced. entire life and you should be forced to do only this humne pehle kiya ki humne pehle medicine mein force kiya logo ko are sab ko ji doctor sab doctor ban gaye it didn't work yeah sab iit karenge it didn't work engineers ban gaye nahi waise duniya chalegi nahi so aise bhi nahi chalegi that everybody will have to get into ias but i do appreciate ki ha jin logo ko talent hai who are ready to work very hard who are already eager for that who are already eager or if they want to actually do it i mm. think they need to be encouraged and mm. i have always been my social media my uh, home is always open to those people mere paas bahut bacche aate hain and i try my best to guide as many people as i can mm. Mm. do you also think we have to somehow let our kids grow in terms of what they want to be and howsoever they want to identify i mean with whatsoever job i think in a world like which is open like this now and globalized world the world where technology is like so much prevalent so much technology has changed almost everything ab kahan aap kisi ko rok sakte ho aap kya banoge from your Definitely. personal image ki main kya hu how do i relate to myself and then how do i relate to the world har cheez badal gayi hai 
आपको चॉइसेस देनी पड़ेंगी ना जो कन्वेंशनल जॉब्स भी थे वो भी अब बदल रहे हैं कन्वेंशनल एजुकेशन बदल रही है करियर्स बदल रहे हैं मुझे लग रहा है हमारी जनरेशन को शायद समझ ही नहीं आएगा कि हमारे बच्चे क्या करेंगे हमारे पुरानों की तो बात ही नहीं है इतना बदल गया और बच्चों को भी बहुत मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग हेयर विद आस इट वॉज ए वेरी थॉट प्रोवोकिंग सेशन एंड समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वी गॉट टू लर्न अबाउट योर यू पी एस सी जर्नी एंड अदर थिंग्स थैंक यू टू दूअर्स फॉर वॉचिंग आर शो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू